Hey, good morning from Jamie's van build party. As you can see, I'm about to do something. And it involves finishing sanding this bad boy. I'm not looking forward to it, it's a lot of work. But uh, I do have an orbital sander that uh, Wanderboom lent me. Uh, we will check, we will, we will get a bird's eye view, maybe, maybe in this video, maybe in the next video. Tried to fly my drone, but unfortunately, I had to update the software. That's how it goes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get to work. All right, me and Chuck been uh, working on the bus for a bit. It looks like it is almost ready for paint. Uh, I didn't film all the hard part of it, because, well, it's almost like watching paint dry, but in reverse. So anyways, yo, Chuck, just want to say thanks for your help, man. That's okay. I appreciate it. That's all right. It was a pleasure. <laughs> now when I see it, now when I see it on a video, I can say I sanded on that. Yeah, absolutely, you can. So we'll see you uh, a little bit later at the uh, barbecue thing. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, man. Well, guys, look who the cat dragged in. It's Mr. Seven. Hello. Uh, welcome back from Europe. Thank you. And uh, Seven is conveniently parked next to me over here, so we're providing shade to each other throughout the day. Yes, yes. It was and nice. also. Wi-Fi. Have you connected my Wi-Fi yet? I have not. I have not heard the password. Do you want to tell everyone your password? What do you guys think? Do you want to know my password? <laughs> yeah, so we're uh, um, camped out conveniently, not too far away from the carpentry spot because both of us need a little carpentry help. This is the uh, state of life with the uh, the prepping for the paint, still got a few more areas to do, and uh, I don't know, I'm gonna go actually film a video for Jamie on Jamie's channel, Enigmatic Nomadics, if you wanna see what we're eating for dinner tonight. It's a really good, awesome, homemade uh, dinner tonight, and uh, I don't know, we didn't get any chili last night, so. No, no, hopefully we'll get some food tonight. Probably I say, have to go a little earlier. I was just gonna say, we should maybe get in line before it even starts. Yeah, yeah. like seven minutes before? Please. About seven. I'm just gonna show you how large this van build party has become. Like I said, my bus is right there to the left. Carpentry is over there. Way beyond that is kind of the uh, eastern reach of it. Uh, over here we have one of the campfires. This was more the acoustic, uh, acoustic fireplace. Then, if you can see <laughs> the coexist flag and the dragon hanging off there. That is Steampunk Steve. So this is kind of like the middle, we're getting towards the middle of the camp. I would say this is like, if behind us was like the fourth quarter, this would be the third quarter. I'm not talking sports, I'm talking actual quarters. Then there's another quarter and you know, like 25 cents, and then another one beyond that. So this is still like one quarter of it. You guys know this bus, Steampunk Steve. He is flying his flags. He's got the, uh, <laughs> the dragon one up top. Um, he is doing solar install, well actually no, max fan installs and I think solar as well, completely for free. So if you guys didn't get the memo before, it's just a bunch of people, I'd say half of the people showing up for a good time, and uh, another quarter, here we're at fractions again, uh, another 25% need something built, um, some consultation, a fix, and I'd say the other ones are uh, donating. Um, and all that. Hey, how's it going? Awesome. Um, very friendly people, as you can see. So if you didn't get the memo, try to come next year. I would say this event has doubled. as probably a good, I don't even know, 600 people, something like that. It's a lot of people out here. And I would do an aerial shot, but my drone needs a little firmware update. And I'm not close to any, uh, well, actually, I got my Wi-Fi now. So maybe to later today we'll do that. So for proximity, that is Steampunk Steve's. We are now about halfway through, and I'm going to slow down for those slow pan fans. We've got a couple vintage Dodges. That's uh, Dan the Blue Van. And uh, we're about halfway through camp. It, it, it extends beyond that way still. Um, and now I'm going to switch on over uh, to Enigmatic Pneumatics. I'm going to pick up, and I'm going to talk with Keith. Keith, who is making us a gigantic dinner for uh, several hundred people. All right, sanding is not all exciting, but past couple days, me and some generous friends, new friends, 
I've been sanding this bad boy down. We've been using something called this uh, Diablo. Uh, it's actually not sandpaper. It's like a some kind of uh, what is it? Uh, it's got Velcro back. 400 grit. So just kind of finishing up the rest. But uh, I did mention last year a very nice gentleman came by <laughs> and dropped off firewood. Well, he did the same thing this year and drove. Uh, I think about a couple hours to get down here, so I just want you guys to meet uh, Tim. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming by again. You're welcome. I really appreciate all the you know chit chat and firewood and all that stuff. Last year we talked for about three hours yeah, or something yeah. in the bus. Good to get all the information. Good to see your bus coming along great. <laughs> oh, thanks. So, I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate the support and coming down here and and hanging out and oh, all that. Fun. So I like, I like talking to you. You know, it's it's uh, it's. Good information for future bus, hopefully, and uh, <laughs> we go from there. It's neat out here, a lot of nice people. Yeah, so. yeah it is a fun, fun event and fun community. So, yeah. anyways, I'm going to put down the camera, catch up a little bit, and then we'll uh, finish up the last bit of, of the uh, sanding for this thing, and then we'll paint it, I think, in the next video, because that's going to be fun. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Oh my God. Huh? Uh, hey, what do you got to say for yourself, eh? Now we got the, the Timmy Hose Cup. Uh-huh. Canadian shirt on. Yeah, or that says Cabela's not Canadian oh, Tire. Do you yeah, take a little pen and then scribble yeah, over it? Canadian Tire. That's a nice what little wolf there. Stuck over here? Well, you know, I'm just painting this bad boy right here. I'm getting this thing ready for paint. I got uh, hey. International Harvester White on its way from town. I'm going to do the bumpers white and uh, I'm going to do the rest of it red. It's going to look like a vintage tractor. Exactly, a vintage uh, tractor. I'm going to be ready to plow some, plow some fields when I'm done with this thing. Well, at least it should look like that. Maybe. Fast forward a couple hours. We're in the parking lot across the street from uh, Parker Walmart. Behind some McDonald's. Look at that. We're doing, this is uh, International Harvester White. Clearly not a white, it's more of a cream. Tan cream color. Me and Miles took a, uh, a wheel to ourselves. There's a very good chance that we could get back tonight and uh, paint this. Because we, I, I did stop by the car wash and I rinsed off all of the paint dust. So we scuffed it up with uh, Scotch uh, Bright Pads in the paint department, not the green ones for your uh, dishes. And then, uh, yeah, hosed it down. And now we're just spray painting the, uh, the wheels. So I'm going tractor red and then tractor cream because it kind of goes together. It has a kind of vintage tractor look. I'm also going to do the bumpers the same color cream. All four wheels are done. It is a little tacky, not visually, but uh, to the touch. Well, I mean, that's up for you to decide, I suppose. <laughs> but all four wheels are done. We're trying to kill some time and maybe grab a high quality, delicious burger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you can see, did a little something overnight here. Painted the bumpers. Now, what you should know about this uh, tractor paint is that it does stay sticky for a while. And it's very heavy duty stuff. So I think all the sanding, all this prep work I did was, well, a little bit overkill. Today we're gonna paint the entire bus, well, from the white part to the bottom, International Harvester Red with uh, some tractor paint right here that I got from, where do you get it from? Tractor Supply Company. It's not just a work destination, it's also a party. And uh, there's plenty of things to be distracted by, including Reed's famous hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last time you see this bus, School Bus Yellow. This is the before. No, I did not hurt myself. I've been painting! We're about halfway through. Reed is doing some uh, touch up. Steve is. Uh, our the afternoon things done, so I got nothing else to do today. Steve is a foreman today, he's just on looking all the progress. <laughs> yeah, if there's another brush or something that probably helped. Yeah, and yeah, we got uh, Reed. Any more brushes? I'll help. Uh, I got a bunch of foam ones, but they're they're not working that well. Uh, Reed okay. Reed's actually working for the first time today. Uh, he was uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I did the hood. I got the roller. He's doing the uh, the detail stuff. Miles is over here doing the, uh, the the taping. Thanks, bro. Most important part of what we're doing. And, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here in paradise. I'm gonna get back to work. Well, 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 we got ourselves a red bus here. That's crazy. All right, so this is on a painting channel. 
But I used a uh, tractor paint from Tractor Supply, and I used a uh, cabinet roller um, to try and get a, a smaller texture, and uh, rolled it on, brushed it on the parts that couldn't roll it on. Uh, yellow 3M tape, highly recommend it. It's automotive uh, masking tape. Uh, we spray painted International Harvester white on the wheels and then whirled on International Harvester white on the bumpers. So this is what we're looking like here. Going to go over it one more time tomorrow and hopefully two coats will do the trick. My guys got to leave. Yep. Reed and Miles, thank you so much for everything you've done sincerely. Absolutely, man. More than welcome. You guys are amazing. And uh, if anybody needs a mobile job, Reed, hit him up. Shoot, shoot single schoolie. Shoot single schoolie. May or may not bring Miles with his tiles maybe. to fix up whatever you guys need. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Safe travels. Thanks, buddy. Bye, guys. All right. So, first time using tractor paint. I got a few things few lessons here. Number one, don't try to use a cabinet roller. Number two, I wouldn't even try using an, uh, a brush, an oil brush. It, the, the, this texture here is just uh, <laughs> very unique. And there's part of, uh, uh, part of the brush in there. Um, I was going for, I said to myself, you know what? It's tractor paint. What's the worst thing that could happen? You know, it's very thick, very durable. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, no, we don't need to, um, you know, uh, uh, spray this thing. It'll look good enough. It'll have a nice texture. Boy, oh boy, was I wrong. There's, uh, <laughs> quite a bit, quite a bit of, uh, a texture difference here, but the, the touch of it, it's almost like silky smooth. It's absolutely incredible stuff. Very, very durable. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not a pro painter, and, uh, you know, I got a little drip here. I'm gonna put on a second coat. And if something at some if if at some point I want to smooth it down and fix some of these um, imperfections, I can always sand over it and then put a little you know just kind of touch it up or you know hit it with a rattle can because we are out here exposed to the elements. There's dust floating around, you know. But man, oh man, it's so silky smooth. Um, so, anyways, enough enough yapping. I'm gonna get to work. This is uh. <laughs> what code number two looks like. I've been out here watching the uh, paint dry, so to say. I gotta say, this bus is gonna be a very Instagram fr friendly bus. If you guys don't know, I am on Instagram, Jack's Austin. Come say hello. And uh, the bus should be posted on there shortly after this video goes up. Look at who uh, is hanging out here. Look, look at who are, are, who are now friends. The famous badge. That's Met Steve. the infamous Steampunk Steve. I know. Yeah. I took a little break from watching the paint dry and walking around See, because we're going to do some videos enemy. for Jamie. That's it. We've got a common enemy. That's what it is. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, pain in the butt, but, you know, yeah. he's, he's a nice guy, but pain in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. So, Badge, uh, do you have one of those Walmart mattresses? Remember that really comfy yeah. one you put in there? Is that for sure from Walmart? Guaranteed from Walmart, but get the one that's memory foam, not the one with springs. Okay. You put springs in the bunkie, right? Yeah. And it's not quite the same as ours. How much? Okay. How much do you pay for that? It was uh, two eighty Canadian. Two eighty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like comes... fifty bucks American. <laughs> Something like that. Fifty bucks American. Yeah. This is what I got. And, uh, badges over here for a reason. Uh, is that no right turn signals? No right turn signals. So. This is what I got for mattresses. What is that? It's memory foam. It's three levels. Uh -huh. So it's high density, medium density, and memory foam on the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, There's a... Um, King Coil makes one that's very close. Whatever you have, I think I might want it, because I got That's the one from Walmart. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the thing is done. The Dingsboom. So if anybody's German, the Dingsboom is done. That means um, thingamajig or something. Anyways, um, the grill. All up in my grill, I, I sprayed this uh, quite a few times. I also sprayed this. So on the bus, I, 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 you know, Bob Ross would be really proud of me. I use spray paint, brushes, the wrong kind of rollers. Do not use cabinet rollers, the foam rollers. Use microfiber, or microfiber if you are going to roll. It's this one right here. <coughs> uh, we got three layers. Touch up the rest. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's done. We're going to bring the white all the way down. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already. So, this is going to conclude the 
how not to paint your school bus video. Thank you so much for watching.